I hope you're all doing really, really well. So, as you might have guessed from the title, today's video is all about the May Glossy Box, which I have just here at the side of me. So, I was really excited for this month's box to arrive, as always. Let's crack on with the box and I will tell you what's inside this month. So, here is the little card that comes with every Glossy Box to tell you about the products and the theme of the box. So as always, I'll read this out. We've all bought wear one statement pieces over more sensible staples. I often ignore the essentials for their more glittery sidekicks, but it's basics that underpin a good wardrobe and it's the same in beauty. One of those basics is Dr. Pawpaw's multi-purpose balm. Applying this to lips, brows, cuticles and elbows, basically anywhere will become a habit you won't want to kick. Along with the balm of all balms, you'll find four more essentials that we think every girl needs in her kit. Because with the right basics, everything else will follow you. I tend to agree on that one, I really like Dr. Pawpaw's balm. But anyway, let's get into the box and I will tell you what's inside. Here's what the box is looking like this month. Lots of exciting goodies in that. The first thing in the box that I want to talk about is from Scrub Love. And I also got one of these in my most recent Look Fantastic box, but it was a coconut and cranberry one. So I'm really excited actually to have two of these because they're meant to be absolutely amazing. I haven't tried either of them yet. Anyway, this one is cucumber and bamboo, and this is a tea, <laughs> tea? <laughs> this is a detoxifying activated charcoal body scrub. So this one says it's exceptionally cleansing, naturally purifying, deeply detoxifying, and for and for all skin types. So it says on the back, this is the Detox Daddy and it's 100% natural loving. It'll absorb all those pollutants and impurities that build up on your skin from day to day and leave you a squeaky clean. Sometimes we all need a fresh start, babe. So this one's really nice. I like the company as well. It's not tested on animals, which is also a big win. It's paraben free and there is no plastic or microbeads included. So this has got um, active carbon from bamboo, which is obviously really good for cleansing skin and detoxifying. It's got cucumber seed oil and argan oil, bamboo extract and kaolin clay, which helps to remove impurities from your skin. I used to use kaolin clay a lot when I was training in beauty therapy, and I know that it's a really good ingredient. So I'm excited to try that, and I love the packaging as well. Next in the box is a beautiful product from Cordelay, which kind of matches my outfit today, so I really love the colour of this bottle. So this is their moisturising sorbet, and it's for sensitive skin. Cordelay is a brand that I've really, really liked since I was first introduced to them, maybe two years ago now, something like that. But their products are absolutely beautiful. Everything I've used from the brand I've really, really enjoyed. And this has been no different. I've tried it out a couple of times now. So I used it last night and again this morning. It gives your skin that really, really nice moisture hit, but without feeling like tacky or sticky. It's just, it just soaks in nicely. It does feel more of... I want to say whipped formula, but it's not not overly whipped. It's just a really nice cream and it's just lovely. I don't know what else I can say about it. It's a really nice product. So if you've got dry skin and sensitive skin, you will love this. Next in the box is something that I was really, really excited about and it's this blush. It's from Ruby um, and it just says blush. There isn't a colour on this, but it's a gorgeous sort of peachy colour. It's not actually this bright when you put it on. I'm wearing it at the moment. To get to that brightness, you have to really apply it a couple of times and keep building up. It is pigmented, but not massively pigmented. So don't be afraid to use it if you're not used to wearing bright colours because honestly, it doesn't go on that bright. But anyway, it's nice to use. So funny story, I was in town and I was actually looking for a new blush and I was looking around all the counters and couldn't really find one that I wanted to settle on and buy, so I ended up leaving it. I came home and that very same day I'd had my delivery of my glossy box and when I opened it there was a blush and if I was buying a blush for myself I would have gone for this sort of colour anyway. So good match really. So thanks glossy box, you definitely addressed my beauty need on that one. Next in the box is this eyeshadow brush and this is from Girl Meets Brush. It's a blending brush and it's got domed bristles so it'd be really good for blending eyeshadows and defining the crease as well so I'm looking forward to trying this one out too. 
The last in the box is from Dr. Papa and it's the original balm. So this is the multi-purpose soothing balm with natural Papa. This is a really nice balm. You can use it anywhere on your body where you feel like you're a little bit dry, like on your elbows or even on your hands. It's a really, really nice product and it's also great for any of you girls that are going to festivals and want to apply glitter to your face. You can actually use this as your adhesive and it won't come off, it'll just sit on your skin. So it's a really nice product. Product. If you think of something like um, the Elizabeth Arden 8 hour cream that comes in a tube like this one, you can use that for loads of different things and use this in the same sort of vein. It's not as thick as that one, um, but it is really nice, it's a really nice texture. So yeah, I'm really pleased with that. I could always do with an extra one of those in my kit. I don't know anybody who is a makeup artist that doesn't have one of these in their kit. So that is everything that came in the glossy box this May. I hope that you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and also please subscribe if you're new and that way you won't miss any future videos that I upload. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all soon. Bye!